Hey YouTube, what is going on? The Printer Guy here. And in this video, I want to talk to you about the differences between a dye-based ink and pigment ink. And really quickly here, getting into the video, uh, I really wanted to show you a visual and really allow you to see that with dye-based ink, you have ink that is absorbing into another layer of the printed media or the, the receiving media. And pigmented ink is gonna stay on the surface level. Uh, that is a really quick understanding. I'm going to get more in depth on uh, kind of what that actually means. Uh, but if this video ends up being helpful, please make sure to like the video. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. Any products I end up talking about along the way uh, or my website, bestprinterstech.com, is going to be linked down in the description below. So on a really surface level and easy level to understand, uh, this is what we have. Uh, one level. Uh, of, of the dye-based ink is uh, going down to the uh, next level of the receiving layer and the pigmented ink uh, stays on the surface. Now to really understand this a little further, dye-based ink is a lot less expensive, it's water soluble, uh, it's fully dissolved uh, with water, uh, but it does have brilliant color. So it has a sharper color, or has a, a better uh, print quality actually, especially when it comes to photos. And on the other hand, we have pigmented based ink. It's less color vibrant, but it does have uh, more of the fade resistant qualities. It has extra long life. So if you're printing uh, photos, the photo may not be as vibrant as dye-based ink, but it will last longer. There will be a longer period of time that that print uh, is not faded and is able to last uh, because it has that stronger and higher quality ink. Unfortunately, because of the durability, it loses the ability to have the vibrant colors and the really great photo quality. On the other hand, dye-based ink, less expensive, higher quality, but is susceptible to uh, some of the different things that would allow it to be faded, uh, that would allow the print to be uh, deteriorated more quickly, a lot more quickly than with the pigmented ink. All right, here is a quick summary of the differences between the dye-based ink and pigmented ink. I really hope this video is informational to you and you're able to get all the answers and know the differences because uh, on the bottles before you install them and before you purchase a printer, you can see because a lot of, for example, the Epson EcoTank models, uh, one of them will use, one model will use dye-based ink and another will use pigmented-based ink. And you really need to know the difference because one is higher quality, uh, but the other is a little lower quality, but more vibrant. So, so it can be complicated to understand because that's kind of a contradiction. If it's more expensive, it should produce higher and more vibrant, uh, higher quality and more vibrant uh, colors on the prints. But that's not the case. It's just the durability. So on the one hand, dye-based ink is not waterproof at all. On the other hand, with pigment ink, it is very much waterproof. Color vibrancy, yes for the dye-based ink. Pigmented ink, not so much. Uh, sun UV light resistant, dye-based ink is not resistant towards that. Pigmented ink is. Longevity, dye-based ink will, will deteriorate quicker. Pigmented ink is gonna last longer. And the ink cost is gonna be higher on the pigmented ink. That's why we have the lower battery. It's a con, it's not a pro. Uh, with the dye-based ink, it's a lot more cost effective. Now, when you're using glossy paper, you probably want to use pigmented ink. It's going to last longer. It's going to be more durable. Are you going to really notice the difference between the vibrancy and the color? You know, it could be that you have similar vibrancy and similar saturation with the color, and you could get similar results. Although on glossy paper, pigmented ink is always going to win. And really, you should mostly be using pigmented ink on glossy paper. There's going to be that higher durability. All right, so I really hope I was able to explain what the differences are between dye-based ink and pigmented ink. You can read on the label of the bottle of ink that you're installing on your printer, whether it's one of these two. And there are printers that only will use the one type of ink system or that are really made for the one type of type of ink. And so you really want to be aware of this, especially when you're printing with bottle based printers, because this is the difference in ink that you would be having to choose between. Uh, on the one hand, you have some really big advantages, some other disadvantages, and the same thing on the other side, dye based between pigmented ink. 
I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please make sure to like. Any questions at all, comment below. And if you want more content like this, please make sure to subscribe. That's all I have for now. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time. Thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. I handpicked two videos that are here on the screen for you to watch next. Also consider subscribing to this channel. There's so much helpful content for you if you're a printer owner, and it's just good to have a resource like this for you in the future, whether you're dealing with a printer that's not printing well or you need more printer recommendations. So I look forward to seeing you again in another video.